We work in the engineering design and manufacture team with a range of clients, some, some really quite large companies, SMEs, even, even individuals. As patent attorneys, we get to handle a really diverse areas of technology. On my desk at the minute, I have patent cases relating to aircraft engine technology, inspection systems for the rail industry, and at the same time, methods of manufacturing paper plates. What they all have in common is the level of detail and the sophisticated technology that's been developed for each of those different purposes. Depending on the product, depending on the needs of the client in terms of how quickly they want something registered, we can advise the best route and the best form of protection or the best combination of forms of protection to, to get what they want or what they need commercially. There's a myriad of case law and legal texts that need to be read around intellectual property. At Adamson Jones, we have our own range of events we undertake. We arrange current awareness sessions internally for all of our attorneys. Uh, we report on key case law decisions and we share working practices amongst all of our attorneys so that we know we can apply those things to all of our clients without them having to take the time and effort to research those areas. As a team, we do try and keep on top of the trends in engineering. We attend uh, local networking events and we have regular meetings to exchange knowledge and information about sort of what's happening with, with existing clients but also within the, within the field more generally. Part of the way we help our clients is helping them handle IP in a more sophisticated manner. Often we're asked to get IP protection as quickly as possible and at low cost and that's understandable and there's always pressures on everyone we deal with. But as we talk to them and help them understand where the value of the IP lies, it might be that you can put together a strategy that actually does better than that. And it's not as simple as just getting IP, but it's about how you hold competition at bay, how you do that best, how you create uncertainty for your competitors and how you proactively go forward with your own protection. If anyone has any questions or concerns about intellectual property relating to engineering design or manufacturing, they can call any of our team and we'd be happy to help.